let's go. So what do we got here? Um, just put this one together. Oh. This is the impeller side. It's even though it's the impeller, it has an aspect of a suction turbine. So the suction, the centrifugal sucking through causes rotation. Put up with this light a little bit. This is our rig here anyway. We've got a big handpiece in the lathe. Um, yeah. This turbine here. It is very modified. Off of this edge, sort of like what's going on there, but a bit harder to see. The fluid that's coming through here just drives off of that edge, huge, right down to a tiny little diameter. So big turning little turns a little faster. It's being backed up by implosion even from right on the exchange. Uh, we've got multiple angles of attack that set up the implosion. Yeah. Uh, state is pretty standard except for bearing modification uh, yeah we have even run them stateless before I'll show you one of them but this in here this is a nice little piece all of that there is all built up out of world it's sort of 3D printing um, in the form, yep, it works really good. We have to do that also to like resize these things to fit them back up again before we can weld them again. But yeah, that's right, so where we're going with the suction impeller over a very fast running implosion turbine. State is a high rush state. <coughs> so it should be good. We'll uh, hopefully take some pics of this thing spinning up. But the other aspect that we're looking at is that I've seen 20 kilowatt gains off of this scenario out here. So there's potential of fluid, which is an oil, which you can't see obviously because this thing's open, it's the unseen bit, uh, the fluid can apply potentially at least 20 kilowatts if not more of force back onto itself, so that's a very interesting aspect of this thing. We want to set up on a test bench and um, see if it's actually doing that. Alright, cool. Have a good one.